Welcome. Hey guys, I hope you're doing well today. I really am not because I stepped on the scale and I just about lost my mind. A quick thank you to all my PayPal and Cash App contributors for making my videos possible. Okay guys, so I am in my brother's bathroom and I had been weighing myself on the scale in this room. All right, so let's check this out. Okay, I, th I hope you can see here, both of these scales are calibrated at zero, right? And they're the exact same scale. Okay, so this is the scale I had been weighing myself on, thinking, you know, everything is going okay. You know, I'm making progress and losing any weight that I had gained. And here it has me at about, I would say, 151 or 152, if you can see that, right? Okay, now <laughs> let's get on the other scale. Okay, this scale is, like I said, the same one somewhere else in the house. I just brought it in here, but this is the one that I hardly use. So let's get on here. What does it say, guys? 160. They're not very good at all. Oh my God, <laughs> I was so upset when I saw this. I was like, how could I be 160? This is really, really upsetting, guys. And you know what, guys? This is even going to be more difficult because we are headed within a month or so into the season where all those delicious foods like pies, cookies, cakes, roasts, turkey stuffing. Also, if you see this bedroom is not really that great looking, it's kind of messy. Yeah, it also turns out I'm not a great housewife. And I see those, these domestic vloggers everywhere all over YouTube. Their houses are immaculate and they produce videos at breakneck speed about organizing and cleaning and, and doing just everything right. And I don't know how they do it. I really don't. That's not me. So please forgive me. In my videos, you're going to see messy things, dusty things. And I try my best, but I just, I'm not really that great at it. Well, anyway, I guess I'll stick to my cooking, right? <laughs> my cooking. So, um, guys, yeah, when I saw that I was not 150, but 160, I was like, don't. Oh, what am I going to do? You know, what am I going to do? I just, so I decided like to go on like more walks and just exercise more, really stick to doing the like 1600 calories a day. I'm going to start doing those vlogs that I did again, what I eat in a week to lose weight because those actually do help me stay on track. And I know there's a portion of you, of my audience, that likes those what I eat in a week because I know it gives you some ideas too. <sighs> anyway, here's some footage of a recent walk I took with my brother because I have been walking and exercising. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah, he's got the whole world in his I have been trying my best to diet and stuff, um, but it's just like it's not coming off. Now the funny thing is, let me show you what I look like here in the mirror. And this is why I thought I was uh, lower in weight really than what I am. So it was just kind of confusing. So here we go. Okay, so you guys can see here like my legs are still like kind of nice and slim here, like um, at my lower thigh area here. And you know, my waist is still nice, I would say narrow. So I don't really quite understand what's going on. I do strength training. I haven't been doing it that much, but I don't know guys. 
maybe some of you who have more experience with dieting can just let me know what might be going on. So this is from behind for now. And you know, I still have work to do like up here and stuff, the thigh area, but, um, yeah, I thought I was kind of like making good progress. I don't know guys, I'd appreciate your input. Thanks. Do you remember when I made that weight loss video of the before and after pictures where I was pretty much like any other um, before and after vlog that you say? It's a little bit of a bragging rights for when you've lost a lot of weight. Well, color me a hypocrite because I have, I have pretty much devolved in my weight loss goals. When I saw that number, do you know how difficult it was not to just buy a box of Ho-Ho's and eat through the whole thing or to eat a half a gallon of chocolate ice cream or even worse, the half gallon of ice cream that my husband likes. He likes like salted caramel flavor. I don't, I don't like that stuff. I was even willing to eat that because I was just like in one of those moments, well, better burn the whole thing down then you know if 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 you're doing this badly just let it all burn <laughs> let it all burn but i didn't do that and i'm proud of myself for that <laughs> for those of you who are interested in what the what i eat in a week to lose weight videos i'm going to be doing that of course i'll be doing my other videos too so stay tuned for those even though this thing the correct one is I don't feel is my friend, I'm still going to do a weigh-in at the end of the week on the what, what I eat in a week to lose weight videos. Who knows, I mean, the scale might not budge for a while because I do tr str strength training or God knows for, for what reason, but eventually I think the weight will come back off. And um, yeah, so guys, I kind of need a pep talk a little bit or... I don't know. <laughs> it's just not a good day today. So please write to me in the comments, guys. How do you stay motivated when you have a setback? Because that's basically what this is. I will see you guys in the comments. Talk to you soon. I swear there's like a killer bee here or something because um, he has been following me this whole time and I do not like that. Why are you laying down? <laughs>